back to watch the time. So today I've got another Pagani design. Uh, I think people are referring to this watch as sort of like Pagani design premium, given the fact that it's made a little bit better and just generally costs a little bit more. Uh, it's the PD1672. Uh, I think it looks a little bit like an Auris Aquis. Um, I'll put a picture up of, of that watch at, at this particular time next to me, uh, as you can see the comparison between the two. Uh, not, not exactly the same, but it's the only watch that I can see that looks a little bit like it bears a resemblance. And I can't imagine for the life of me that Pagani Design now started doing original watches. <laughs> I just I just can't see it. So there's obviously a homage in there somewhere. I think it might be the Aorus Aquis. If I'm wrong, then please do correct me in the comment section and bring my attention to the actual watch they are homaging. Um, and if it is an original design, also let me know what you think because I would be astounded if they if they finally taken the leap to make their own watch, given the fact that most watches on AliExpress are homages or clomages of some degree. But so it's made well. Um, you get all the normal specs you get with. Uh, Pagani design in terms of sapphire crystal mill clasp solid bracelet screw links all that stuff um, but uh, yeah it's it's it cost, I paid I think I paid sort of 90 pound for it um, they're, they're on sale the only problem you get at the moment with being in the UK is you get the 20% import uh, on top of it so that could be a bit of a nightmare in terms of how much you end up paying but do shop around I will leave an affiliate link in the description uh, take you directly to the watch. There's a couple of different variants in terms of how they, they there's different applied indices they use on the dial. So uh, have a look, see what you think, and thank you for tuning back in. I appreciate the support. And yeah, without further ado, um, let's get the camera turned around and get on with it. Hi guys and girls. So this is the watch. It's the Pagani Design. Uh, a lot of people are calling these watches Pagani Design Premium, uh, probably because of the probably the finishing, the box, and mainly the box it comes in really. Uh, quite different for Pagani design. You've got the outer sleeve, I'll get rid of that. Uh, nice box, got the Pagani design um, logo and brand name and stuff inside. You've got the normal stuff you get in terms of the warranty card, guarantee card, whatever bits inside. Uh, quite a nice finish inside. I've already sized this bracelet up. Uh, it comes with a cleaning cloth. I had to take three links out, as you can see. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, pretty, pretty standard stuff, really. The box is different. But um, other than the box, it's, it's pretty it's pretty standard stuff, really. The but um, yeah, it looks pretty cool, this watch. I do think it looks a little bit like an, an Auris Aquis, personally. Um, may, may agree, may not. But um, the model number is the PD1672. Um, quite a nice blue. Uh, yeah, it looks, looks really nice. But um, let's run through the, the specs and all the good stuff that we normally do. So the... The movement inside, as you can might be able to make out as an automatic movement, it's a Seiko NH35 movement, which is the date variant. Um, the the case, so the case material, uh, apart the, the bezel, apart from the insert, crown, outer part of the case back, bracelet and nil clasp are all 316L stainless steel. The case thickness, uh, quite a big, Quite, quite thick actually 15 millimeters so not not inconsiderable and the, the case diameter is 42 millimeters when you go from the 8 to the 2 as I normally do and when you go from the 9 to 3 it does become 45 millimeters including the crown the lug width is 20 millimeters and the lug to lug tip to tip is 48.5 millimeters so it does hug the wrist quite nicely the case back is an exhibition case back and it's screwed down uh, which is pretty cool for helping with the water resistance. And the bezel is a ceramic bezel insert and it's 60 click. Uh, the clicks are not too bad. It lines up pretty good. There is a bit of play, uh, but we'll, we'll come back to that, I, I, would, I, would, I would say, a bit later. Um, the strap material, excuse me, strap material, the crown is screwed down and it's signed. I've been able to get that blue a uh, bit of a... Bit of, uh, protection off there yet um I've, I've managed I need to find a bit of blue tack or something but i've not been able to source that yet but that'll be coming off um yes yeah, so the strap material as i said is stainless steel a uh, mixture of brushing and polishing you've got brushing on the outer side and the middle the middle links of well although they're one link uh, the middle is made to look like made to look like three links uh, the middle part of that link is polished um and the screw pins you get in it which is pretty standard actually with Pagani design, but they're quite, these are done quite well. It's quite easy to size. 
and the, the clasp is milled um, yeah nicely done it's also got a divers extension which is pressed inside uh, so it'll give you like another link I've, I've used a middle level micro adjustment as well just to size it for my wrist uh, it's only pressed uh, whether you'd use it or not I'm not sure but it's there anyway but yeah milled and it's signed it's got Pagani design written on the on the clasp as well the crystal covering that dial is sapphire crystal and I really like it it's box domed sapphire crystal and actually it, it looks really really nice um, and for a hundred pound watch so $130 to get the specs and the, the, that dome crystal is really, really impressive. The water resistance of this watch is 100 meters of water resistance. Um, so yeah, you can take it swimming and stuff. Given the fact that all the elements are screwed down, I, I'd be quite comfortable with that. So it's 100 meters, which is 10 atmospheres. And the weight is in around 178 grams. It will appear in the top right hand corner. As always, just sort of outlining that I've weighed it myself. Uh, I don't normally take um, companies at their word for what what it weighs. I like to do it myself. But let me pop it on the wrist. Actually, excuse me. Let's have a look at the dial in a bit more detail. So what you have, you've got a minute track on the outer edge of the, of the dial. You've also got applied indices all the way around, slightly larger at the 12 o'clock. Um, and also you've got a date window at the 3 o'clock. Uh, it, and it's got, let me just move this out of the way, actually. I'll change the time so you can see everything a little bit better and get it out of the... The zone where you don't really want to be messing around with the watch so let's leave it sort of around uh, around here i say so you can see the Pagani design up at the 12 just below the 12 o'clock and you've got automatic divers 100 meters that are just above the six position um yeah the loom isn't too bad you'll, you'll see a shot of that at the end but yeah let me just undo the crown actually again just so you can see the movement as i say it's a hacking hand winding movement you take the movement out to the second position it will hack uh, you put it to the first and you can change the date and put it back in it will hack hand wind and stuff so you can you can hand wind it just to give it a bit of charge and then you can screw it back up in terms of the the knurling on it so to, it's quite easy to to screw back up and unscrew i've done it a couple of times just to test it which was quite good but um yeah that's the dial the, the ceramic bezel with insert excuse me i think it all works really well and as i was going to do a moment ago let me just pop it on the wrist just so you can have an idea what it looks like on my just above a seven inch wrist. Uh, it's not too tight, I like it a bit looser, uh, but that's what it looks like on me. Um, as I say, you'll get a better sort of feel for it on the outside shots, I suppose, but that's what it looks like on me. But um, yeah, it, it looks like a definite improvement in terms of what they're producing. Um, but yeah, that, that'll take me on now to what I think is pants and pucker. As always, we're gonna start with pants. Uh, what I think is pants is the bezel, as I alluded to earlier in terms of just how much play there is in the bezel, just so much play. I know it's difficult when it's a 60 click because there's a lot more space in between the clicks, but that's too much play for me. They wanna be, they're trying to improve and there's, there are definitely uh, improvements being made in their watches, but come on Pagani, that that, that bezel is, is a bit shocking to be quite honest. And the polished links, um, I don't like polished center links. I did know it was polished when I bought it. Um, and also the fact they've made uh, the links look like three piece, but it's only a one piece. Is a bit annoying but um yeah the polished center links if any of you guys own watches with polished center links you'll know in no time at all you end up little scuff marks on there and it, yeah it just drives me nuts and the clasp so when you put this watch on it's, this is just a qc issue really with this watch so when you put it on if you just go to take it off you can't it just won't go so what you have to do is sort of lift it towards the watch to get it off yeah not not ideal i don't know if that's going to be a regular thing with these watches but yeah the clasp isn't the best see that you can't get it off you've got to pull it yeah it's a bit it's a bit a bit temperamental really so yeah i'd go with the bezel in terms of um there's too much play in the bezel i'd go with the polished center links on the bracelet and i'd go with the clasp in terms of engagement uh, what i think is pucker is i'd go with the sapphire the sapphire crystal the box dome sapphire crystal very very nice uh the seiko movement i know they're basically in every pagani apart from the gmts but you can't go wrong with a Seiko movement, NH35, NH36, fantastic movements. Uh, the dial, in terms of the sunburst effect and the indices are applied very well. I do like the dial, I do like the, the blue with the insert as bezel insert as well. The bracelet, in terms of the fit and finish of it, is good with the screw links and everything else. Um, but yeah, so, I'd, so I, I think in terms of, yeah, so I'd, just to surmise, the sapphire crystal was what I think is pucker along with the movement, the dial, the bracelet and the fit and finish of the watch 
It's done really well in terms of the brushing at the side. You've got a chamfered edge, which is polished. Um, just, yeah, look, it looks like a definite improvement, which you'd expect, really, the fact that it's more expensive. But, um, yeah, that takes me on to whether I'd recommend this watch. And I, I must say, I probably would, to be honest. Uh, I'm glad they've, got, they've gone for a... I do prefer 120 clip bezels, but I do like the fact they've gone for a 16 rather than a 90 click or just an odd number, which sometimes you get on watches. So, yeah, I would recommend this watch. I think it's a nice, nice watch for, for the price. You get a lot of specs. And I know the clasp is a bit ropey in terms of the engagement, but for the most part, I haven't really got any QC issues uh, to speak of, which is kind of unheard of when, I, when I've kind of touched upon Pagani design. But please, guys, let me know what you think of this watch and maybe any other watches you may want to see. And yeah, as always say, thank you for watching. And as always, watch the time. Take care, guys. All the very best. <laughs>